Hello my friends, this is Lawrence here. Well, here's some uh, great news. Uh, today's the day I'll be riding to Antwerp uh, for the second time in a row. This time it's for the Grand Tour to ride through the Netherlands, uh, off to Amsterdam and then back and forth. Okay, this is going to be great. 103 kilometers from this morning to the afternoon from here. Neil St. Vincent to Antwerp uh, to bring to begin with, before next week I will be touring around the Netherlands, and this is gonna be great. So come join me on yet another epic adventure. This is Lawrence Axel here. Well, as you can tell, it's raining. Well, mild rain today, especially when it comes to riding on my e-bike through the Revelina on my way to Buchardin, which is the gateway to Flanders. But right now, I'm going through Wallonia. This will mean I have to go past Schutzdorf before entering Buchardin so that I will go through Flanders to reach Antwerp. moment for me to do a little bit of filming over that. Sorry, I just freaked out by the fact that there's a crow on the front of the I have to yell at it so that it will fly away so that I don't do anything uh, very bad. But yeah, luckily nature remains in balance. And so yeah, especially when it comes to riding this e-bike. And so yeah, on my go, on my way to Antwerp. right now, well, actually, we've already left Mechelen, but we just left uh, Arlen, so that we'll be heading towards uh, Antwerp, but before that, we're about to go through Brooks, and so, yeah, the journey, okay. Okay, we're getting very close to Eisegen, well, to be precise, we're getting into Mortsel, which is a very good sign. Yeah, we're heading towards Mortsel, because now I'm down to four kilometers of autonomy remaining, and so, by the time I reach Mortsel, I'm going to the Amigo Cafe, recharge my battery as much as I can. Well, I'll have the same thing uh, like six months ago. Two cups of tea and a Brutus Anorox, which will come soon. Okay, change of plan. I did not go inside the Cafe Amigo because it's closed today and so now, I don't know if you can tell but because I was now down to one kilometer of economy left, I decided to switch it up and pedal without any electric assistance so Bendigate Run will definitely recover well. Bendigate Run is the e-bike I decided to name my bike and so yes, whoops, okay. Yeah, here we go. But what I'm trying to do is to find a cafe anywhere so that I might just as well recharge my electric bike. Otherwise, I will check into the hotel. Well, we're in Antwerp. Very good. Very low on battery, only one kilometer remaining. But I decided to switch it on, and so that really pays off by the time I just entered the city. And so, yeah. That was just a trick and so, yeah, we're getting that. I did it, people. I arrived at Antwerp. And here is the City Box Hotel. And so, yeah, 
That was tough, I'm not gonna this. With the shitty weather like this, it was raining all the day. And uh, yeah, it's been five hours uh, that I've actually rode from near San Vaxel all the way here. But now, I'm gonna pack my bike, check into the hotel, and then charge my battery and take it easy because I've got two nights to stay here in Antwerp before on Monday I will proceed to go to the Netherlands. And so, ooh, thank you very much, people, for following me on my YouTube channel. And so, yes, 103 kilometers, what a crazy journey it has been. Ah, even the girls agreed back here. And so, yeah, I'll see you right there. Uh, wow, second time in a row that I've been to Antwerp. Well, first time I've been to Antwerp since October 2022. And so this is the second time round here this year in 2023. Right now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to uh, recharge my battery of my e-bike and uh, I think I'm just uh, going to uh, re-secure my electric bike so that it's nice and secured and then going for a nice long hot shower yeah so so that I'll be nice and fresh and then off around the city of Antwerp and so see you later